Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I'm going to try to do this morning is I'm going to try to make myself a bull ads and I'm going to make a curved ads and a straight ads and an ads basically is a chopping tool picture this large horseshoe rasp cut off about right here and this would be the blade it would go up through a handle and be pinned in and it's a chopping tool to remove material and ads were used for shipbuilding, digging out canoes, they were used for shaping timber, they were also used for digging out bowls and things like that. And the ads that I'm going to try to make is going to be a curved bowl ads with an additional straight blade. So I'm going to try to make two blades so it's a multi-purpose tool. I'm going to use an old axe handle I think for the handle if I can get away with it. But I'm going to try to first make the blade from this horseshoe rasp and then we'll make the second blade from a horseshoe rasp as well. Stay with me guys. This is going to be pretty much a chisel grind on this. So I'm trying to keep it pretty flat and keep this edge down here because I'm going to grind it off when I kneel it anyway and sharpen it. Once it cools down, I'll sharpen it. Right now I'm just trying to kind of flatten it out, bell shape it a little bit, get it to the shape that I want. I'm going to leave this tang on here to attach it to the tool. And we're going to make two of these because we're going to curve one when we're done and we're going to leave the other one flat. So we're going to use another old horseshoe raft. Here in just a minute we're going to do the same thing. This is a little different configuration of a rasp, but it'll work just fine. Got a little bit longer tang on it. And we're not getting real excited about this. All I want to do is get a good bevel on this one edge right here. And like I said, once it cools down, we're going to grind it off anyway. But I want it pretty well shaped this time to begin with. And we're getting there. Okay, so now we've got these things down to some semblance of a grind here. We're going to heat them back up and quench them. And then we're going to have to temper them before we can give them a final sharpening. But I think before we do all of that, we're going to check, see if we can get one fitted up in the handle. We're going to go ahead and we have to go ahead and make our bend before we do all this stuff as well. So we've got to heat the one up and get it bent first. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that and then we'll go from there. Now we're going to have to bend this one in order to make a bowl out. We're going to have to bend it over. So I'm going to use this old trailer hitch right here that I've beat down into a hardy tool to roll that edge over on top of it. Can't put too much of a beating on this thing because we don't want to bevel this edge. We do want this curved. It's hardly fit better, it'd be a lot better. It was made for a different anvil. I'm just looking to make sure that curve is, that dish is fairly even right there. Okay, that's a lot more what I'm looking for right there, kind of just a curve there. I'm going to flatten that out just a shade, not much. 
I had to put that ball in the other hardy on the other anvil to make it work right. But I think that's going to give me more about what I want right there. Now I'm just taking an old axe handle here and cut it off. And I cut another piece of it right here. You can see this is just an old do it hardware store handle. And this is going to be my wedge. So my game plan is to bring that tang up through this hole on that tool and drive this wedge down in front of it to hold it in. So I've got to trim this wedge down quite a bit. I just quickly cut it and drilled this hole in this like just an old wax handle I cut off. But it's going to give me a little bit of a curve there. Should be a pretty decent adds when we're done. We'll find out. Okay. So I've got this other piece of the axe handle that I cut down. And my plan for this is for this to wedge the blade in place. And I'll show you how that's going to work in a minute here. When I get it to where I want it, it's going to need to come down thinner by a pretty good margin here than it is. Now remember that we have not sanded this down, we haven't sharpened it up, we haven't done the final anything on this. So now I'm just testing it to see how it's going to work. Here's my handle and it's cut out really, really crude. But the blades will set in the handle like this. And this would go down over the top of them and be pounded in, kind of like this. I would hope that it would come close to touching this upper shaft. And it's pretty close and it's down through here. I don't think that's going anywhere. So that's the precedence of that adzing tool. Now, like I said, we didn't do anything to this thing really yet to do any final sharpening or anything, but let's just kind of see if it even does what it's supposed to do and it's not going to fall apart doing it. So this is not a very good example because it's not a good clean piece of wood. It's pretty rotten. But what this is supposed to do is hollow out wood, basically like this. So you would use this to hollow out a bowl. And it's just a roughing tool. It's not something that you're going to do everything with. You're just going to rough out your hole with this and then get in there with the chisel. Now I see it came loose right there. So it may not be quite tight enough yet, but it's not doing a bad job for something homemade on the fly real quick. Let's kind of get this line back up in here again. Kind of knock that down a little further in there this time. See what happens. Okay, let's go back at this thing for a minute. Again, not the best example because this is a wet rock piece of wood, but it's showing you the effectiveness of what this tool is meant to do in that it's supposed to dish out an area in rough fashion so that you can then get in there with a the chisel and finalize things. Okay, so like I said, you know, this is not the final rendition of the tool. I've still got to sharpen the blade and all of that. And I've got to temper it by drawing some of the hardness out of the metal from the initial heat treat. But you get the idea of how that tool set up and how it works. And it was made with a horseshoe rasp. So if you can blacksmith and you can do metal work and you can do woodwork, you can do a lot and make a lot of things that you may need in a self-reliant scenario. And I think this is what woodcraft and bushcraft and things like that are all about, is being able to 
make things for yourself without necessarily always having to buy them. Is that going to keep me from buying a good spoon ads or a good bowl ads? Definitely not. But the fact that I was able to make one tells me that I could do it if I absolutely had to. And this one being two bladed means I can interchange it from a straight ads to a curved ads, which makes it more versatile. Appreciate you guys joining me for this quick video today. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our business, for our family, for all of our sponsors, affiliates, instructors, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Mm -hmm.